This week in the field, I go and visit a shipwreck off the coast of Coronado. Hey everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. Welcome to In the Field. So this week uh, I go to, uh, I think it's a pretty cool subject. It's the wreck of the SS Monte Carlo on the beach of Coronado. And uh, if you're into history or, you know, ships or so forth, uh, without going too far into it, this this one's got a pretty interesting history. It's like a concrete a tanker vessel, something that was, you know, commissioned in the early 1900s by one of the presidents, I think, I think Woodrow Wilson. Uh, it ended up being converted into an offshore gambling slash prostitution boat, which was in international waters so that, you know, the U.S. government couldn't do anything about it. Eventually, some storm on a New Year's Day washed it up on the shores of Coronado. And this is like 80 plus years ago. And over the last maybe two years, since early 2016, some of the storms in the San Diego and Southern California area have uh, washed away a lot of the sand. And so this, this ship is a little more visible now. But let me cut over to the footage and show you a little bit of this ship and then talk about uh, how the shoot itself actually went. Starting to get a little better view of what we've got here with the ship. I'm gonna guess that it's in the neighborhood of 60 to 70 feet, uh, at least the parts that I can see. And so what I'm really waiting for is enough of the water to rush out. Now I'm playing a bit of a game here because low tide, perfect low tide is slightly before sunrise. And so I'm gonna to have to just wait for the right set of ebbing waves to reveal this front edge. We can kind of see hints of the stern right now and a little bit of the, the side here, kind of that one part that's protruding from the front left in the frame. But uh, every once in a while, water rushes out and I get to reveal the entire front side of the boat. And so I wait for that to happen and fire off my photos. I'm about wrapped up with this shoot. As you can tell the, the boat's nearly submerged and I've, uh, I've gotten a few. I'm definitely gonna have to get back out here for a, a negative tide. And that's not gonna happen for another few weeks, at least one that coincides with sunrise. But it's still a nice, beautiful morning. I'm gonna grab a few more shots just looking down the beach and uh, say goodbye to the ship for now. So the thing that was against me on this shoot was the tides, and I kind of knew that going in. I went uh, at a time when low tide was as close to sunset as I could get on this particular week. It was a, really a zero foot tide, and that was enough that you could see the boat, more the stern than the bow, but uh, I need to get there for a lower tide, you know, negative one, negative two feet. So I can really see a lot more of it. But I, I, actually, negative two might be too much because I, I liked the water play as it flowed over the boat and swirled around things. Uh, but uh, but it's, it's a really interesting and neat subject. And there are still quite a bit of details that you can see in the ship, although I couldn't really capture them with the camera for this outing. So definitely a spot I'll be heading back to. And I guess maybe the tip of the week is if you're shooting uh, in and around the ocean as knowing your tides. Uh, you know, I knew them going in, I knew what I was up against, and sure enough, I had maybe a window of five to seven minutes where the tide was at its lowest, and I had uh, the right stack up of waves to just start to show the hint of like the uh, you know the, the bow and the, the side of the boat curting up to the bow. Everything else after that, it really just got covered very quickly in water, and you know it more looked like a bunch of old concrete kind of sticking out of the the water. Not necessarily there's this you know wonderfully interesting ship underneath there. And that's going to do it for this week in the field. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, let me know somehow. Contact me through my website with your questions, anything photography related. I'd love to hear from you. I'll get you an answer in usually a couple of days, and uh, your question may just feed the idea behind the next in the field or in post video. So I uh, really can't stress enough. Love getting your questions, and hopefully my answers are helping you out. I can guarantee that your questions are helping me out. That's kind of the whole point. We all become better photographers together. Well, until next time, my name is Scott Davenport, and happy shooting. And then, uh, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something else. Let's try this a little bit differently. I might use your question to the to do what with it. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, let me know someone. Someone, let me know someone. Let me know someone because I'd like to know someone who knows someone. That is straightforward as like Michael Stipe lyrics.